we're here at an escapers rally and uh, since we're already surrounded by several people in the RV Nomads movie, we thought why not talk to a few of them and uh, come up with a theme that we know is important to us and it's important to you guys and, and to us one of the big things with RVing is what drives you, what motivates you, what not only like motivated you to start RVing but what keeps you on the road and makes you excited to get up in the morning and go do things in your RV. And that might seem obvious. You might say, well, this lifestyle, I'd be just excited every day. Uh, but I think you still need some drive because there's days, I don't know if you noticed, um, we have no van right here. <laughs> <laughs> Our van is in the shop. Uh, things break, things go wrong. A toddler is a toddler. You know, whatever you want to say, um, you have ups and downs on the road too. And you need to know what your motivation is to keep pushing through um, to just stay pumped about what you're doing. We struggled with infertility to have Hensley. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know, you know, if, um, if th that was it, if we'd be able to have another one. And because of that struggle and the unknown of not knowing and um, that desire to have her was, you know, it was so long it felt like. I don't know, it was just kind of like we really wanted to take in every single moment we had with her because, you know, we may not get that opportunity again and she's just so special to us and we waited so long for her, so that was our motivation. So first stop, since we're talking to people that are going to be in the RV Nomads movie, is uh, the director's class A. Uh, pretty cool to know the guy that's heading it up is also an RVer. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of curious what drives him. <laughs> What drives me is control, and I can intentionally choose um, what I want to do. And so that, that to me is, you could call it freedom or, or liberty, and it's, um, we're living the same way. We still have to generate income, we still have to work, but we kind of dictate how we work, when we work, and and uh, what that's going to look like as opposed to a non-RV life in an urban area like Chicago, where I'm from, where you just pretty much are part of a program and, and have really no control over it. And that, that, is, a, that is a significant driver of um, why I choose RV life and, and why I'm out here uh, living the way so many others are and, and, a, and a part of a very growing movement of people who I think ultimately just wanted more control over their lives. Adventure and just to see our country and, and what it has to offer us. Well, and honestly, my father passed away very young and uh, every day is precious. So we're seeing it while we can. Yeah, he missed some time on this earth, so we're uh, making up for that right now. For me, it's uh, it sticks and bricks life. Everything was like a pattern and a routine. Mm. Out here in RV life, you have to be present. You're encouraged to be present every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like when we're boondocking out here, to open up and see nothing in front of me, nothing behind me except nature, that's what gets me going. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, but an unexpected thing that I didn't know that we were going to have is such a community out here. Mm. And so the people we meet all over the country, the friends we've made, and those connections have been very meaningful to me. And how people just right off the bat can connect, find that common ground and connect. And it's really awesome to me because I thought it was going to be kind of lonely at first. <laughs> Down here. I didn't know we would be making such strong friendships, so the community has been an awesome aspect for me. <laughs> she's, if you've ever wondered, she's totally cheating with the stool over here. It's cracking me up. <laughs> nobody will ever know. No, until Nathan puts it on his YouTube channel. Yeah, it's nobody will ever know. <laughs> we just wanted more. Life was good. We had a great life and everything, but we just wanted more more travel, more experiences, more fun, more adventures. And we love to drive and we just wanted to do more driving because driving is fun for us. So I kind of- fit right in. Totally makes sense if you love driving. It does. If you're not a driver, it might be more challenging, but we just drive for fun. We don't even have to be going anywhere. Awesome. What really excites me about the full-time RV lifestyle is the freedom. The ability to just literally pick up, pack up my house and drive wherever I want, whenever I want, and not have to tell anyone. I don't have to check in. I don't have to get approval. We can just take off. That is a, uh, that's something that I'd never had in life before, and it's, uh, I don't think I could ever give it up. I was just excited about seeing more of our country. We just spend so much of our lives in one spot, and so I was excited about that. You know, we just woke up one morning and we're like, hey, let's go to the Grand Canyon, and we went. We were there by the afternoon, and I thought that's <laughs> so cool. Yeah, and then after yeah. that it was like, uh, where are we going? Well, I don't know. Well, 
Sedona's south. We got to go south. Why don't we stop by there? We heard it was cool, but I never. So you're really planning yeah. ahead, it sounds. Like. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's a very, really very methodical. Thing. Thing. Yeah, I love that aspect of freedom. It literally, you wake up and it's like, where to now? I don't know. And it's, <laughs> it, that's out. the adventure of life. You know, usually yeah. you're you're living at home and and you go to the same grocery store, the same gas station, the same mm -hmm. job, the same everything, and that's fine. But uh, for us, uh, when we go to the grocery store, we have no idea where we're going, what we're gonna find at that grocery store, or how it's gonna even unfold, which is kind of exciting. James been told he has a very therapeutic voice, and I would agree with that. <laughs> so if you ever, I don't know. So if you're asleep, wake up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My you're waking is, up, uh, uh, the video will continue after this. Sexyvoice.com is where you can find me. And <laughs> I'll, I'll, um, who knows where that's at? I'll do I have no clue what that is. I do not <laughs> promote not that at all. Um, I probably it won't may not be cut. a good thing. Yeah, 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 okay. All right. I knew I'd have to cut something, Shane, every time. Our motivation for going on the road was uh, we had some friends who passed away very, very young. Mm. We knew that we hadn't seen the best parts of the country and met the best people that the country has to offer. So uh, we sold our house, went on the road. Don't regret it at all. We're not under, you know, the reign of an HOA or taxes, mm, real estate taxes, and yeah. just stuff that, you know, we... We just wanted to get away from that and to seek freedom. Um, but one of the biggest things is uh, Dan served 30 years in the military and he was always on duty when it was time for a vacation. Mm -hmm. And so now this is our time and we can go see America and the places that we've always dreamed about or seen in magazines and, and books and websites and blogs. It's a little different in real life than what you see in a picture. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> it is. The, the best piece of advice we got was don't quit your first year. You'll suffer through the trials and tribulations of the first year, but don't give up. And mm -hmm. we tell you, it has been a great experience for four years. It's good advice. He doesn't want any sand in his truck. Yeah, well, I, I don't mind a little bit of sand, but, you know, sand yeah. never makes yeah. the carpet one day. Yeah. Yeah. It took about 30 Take seconds. Out of yeah. frozen, but. And then she was, and then she's doing sand angels. So Shane has given us a ride in his truck. Um, I had no clue until yesterday that these sand dunes even existed. Um, they're like less than 10 minutes down the road from where we were. You can see the, uh, you can see the mountain range back there where we were parked just a few minutes ago. Pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, that's not even the craziest part. Uh, you can also boondock out here. There's toilets right there. There's a place, I don't know if it's just trash or it's actual dump. Somebody just said the word dumpster, I think. So probably trash. Park anywhere you want right out here and then check this out. Sand dunes. Like you can walk out from your RV and just hang out on the sand dunes. Whew. Sand dunes are a lot of work. Oh my goodness. I'm out of shape. We're not in sand dune shape. <laughs> We're not either. We're trying to get there, I think. One of the best parts about RVing is meeting new friends. And so these guys reached out to us on Instagram. It's been awesome getting to meet them. And they are professional photographers and they just wanted to um, take some pictures of our family. And it's awesome. Can tell people how they can follow you guys. Uh, you can find their. Um, our family work at uh, Chase the Love, Chase the Life on Instagram. And our wedding work is uh, Gleason Photo on Instagram as well. So this is really awesome. Yeah. We get some sand dune family pictures. Yeah. What well, is our kid doing? She's gonna... She is going to have sand all over her. Shane is not going to be happy. No. <laughs> So wow, what an awesome day. I don't know for a lot of people, the adventure and seeing things like this are just a big part of why they're doing this. And it's definitely a part of why we do this. I mean, Hensley pushed us out there. <laughs> more ways than one, she's made our life mm -hmm. even more incredible. She didn't even know she was gonna have that impact on us, but no, it's been um, awesome. Mm -hmm. This has been a great adventure. So different things drive different people, but just figure it out um, because when you're wanting to do this, I know we had that motivation for us. When you're cleaning that house, when you're having to <laughs> get rid of things and sell things and the stress and the pressure of finding the right RV and 
just lots of things going on. It's overwhelming. It, it can be, and just, but having that, that shining light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that, man, that's, that's just what drives me. That's what motivates me. That's what keeps me going. Um, it, it's big. It helps. And it, it continue to help you as you get on the road. We're going to wrap up with this sunset. <laughs> Another incredible sunset. We see a lot of sunsets. It's uh, one of our favorite parts. It is. Parts. It is. Life was just so fast. We didn't get to see many before and mm. we're, we're soaking them in now. But we're going to wrap things up and we'll catch you guys later. Just butterflies and brightly colored rainbows. I can't write my story though. What I seek, I see come true. That's cool. <laughs> nice. Thank you.